reaffirming the church's position that homosexual acts were sinful, but homosexual orientation was not. He said that if a person is gay and seeks God and has good will, who am I to judge? Those remarks about the LGBT plus community were radically different compared to previous popes. I had a brother begin to tell me he was watching the news yesterday. He was mentioning to me, Brother Raj. And he asked him, did I hear the announcement the Pope made? I told him, no. The Pope's supposed to have made a major announcement that's supposed to have been so major it interrupt all the news stations of the world. And if I'm not mistaken, he said uh, he's condoning same-sex marriages outside of the church. He don't condone it in the church. In other words, he don't condone wrong in church. So if you're still in the church, I guess you didn't still. But if you're still outside the church, then you consider the thief. Even a male rat got sense enough not to bother another male rat. That's right. In order to have little rats, you got to have a male and female rat. That's right. In order to have little skunks, you got to have a male and female skunk. That's right. In order to have a church full of roaches, you got to have a male and female roach. Amen. To all politicians and to all churchgoers that agree with Pope Francis, Francis is a liar. I want the Pope of the Catholic Church to have a televised discussion is same-sex marriage justified in the eyes of God outside of church because you blind deceive folk you think when the Pope talk that's God talking no when the Pope talk that's the devil talking. Me the too. Pope come in town, you bow. Yeah. We bow to no man. That's right. And we don't bow to no woman. That's right. And we don't bow to no thing. That's right. We bow to only God Himself. That's right. How is it when the Pope come in town? Mayors get on their knees. Governors get on their knees. Presidents get on their knees. Kings and queens get on their knees. Weak feeble, so-called religious politicians and fake pastors. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even some of you imams kiss the ring of the Pope. Either you're for God or you're for the devil. Pastor Gino Jennings has uncovered a chilling truth about the most evil church in the world. This isn't just another sermon. It's a revelation about a dark agenda that is leading countless souls astray. He reveals how this church collect in deception is a tool of the devil, manipulating faith for sinister purpose. The teachings twist and cooperate it and create an environment where misinformation thrives and true spirituality is sacrificed for power and control. Apostle Gino Jennings warned us that this church is not just a building, it's a movement that promotes false doctrines, misguiding believers and undermining the very sense of faith. Its leaders are driven by greed and influence using their positions to exploit the vulnerable rather than uplift them. In a world where so many are searching for truth, the existence of this evil church services as a stark reminder of the battle between light and darkness. Darkness, it's time to open our eyes and understanding 
uh, understand the tactics of manipulation that are being employed. Pastor Gino Jennings is known for his passionate sermon and unwavering stance on biblical principle. But recently, he found himself in a heated debate with a prominent figure known as Pope. The clash of perspective ignited a conversation about faith, morality, and the role and tradition in modern society. Apostle Gino Jennings, a virus advocate for strict biblical interpretations, challenged Pope more liberal views. As the discussion unfolded, viewers were captivated by Jennings' articulate arguments and Pope's charismatic uh, retorts, but um, both brought, un uh, um, brought unique insights and uh, drawing in audience from various backgrounds and beliefs. What happens uh, when two strong personalities collide over faith? The ch exchange was intense, thought-provoking, and at times uh, even humorous. How do you think presented the most compelling case? Join us uh, as we explore the highlights of this remarkable encounter and dive into the debate that has left many questioning their own beliefs and understanding of scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and discussion like this.